Hey, it's Tim, pickup truck plus SUV talk, and I've been dying to do this video and I finally get a chance to do it. We're out camping at the Jackson State Park here in Colorado. I have a camper that we rented from RV Share, good experience, and I'm going to plug it in to this 2021 F-150 hybrid. This has the 7.2 onboard kilowatt generator in the back, um, inverter and generator. That's how it works together. So I'm gonna run this for about the next three hours while I'm down at the lake, three or four hours, whatever the deal is. And my plan is to kind of let you see how much uh, gas usage I'm gonna use by running the AC in the camper while we're gone. So let's get some uh, numbers here. First of all, it is 12.06 and 75 degrees. It's a sunny day. The high is supposed to be like 85, so it's gonna warm up 10 more degrees while I'm down at the lake. So it's gonna be a pretty average summer day. You know, it's gonna be warm, it's gonna be hot, AC is probably gonna be running most time. I have uh, 400, and let me get a little closer because this doesn't, so it doesn't on the screen. So we have 438 miles of range and we have a full tank. So I don't know how else to say that and show that on the screen. And we'll just kind of have to guesstimate a little bit. Sorry, it's the best I can do is guesstimation on that. Let's go ahead and talk about the back of the hookup. All right, now if you're a fan of this channel, you may have noticed I tried to do this video before and I failed because it was cold. Yeah, you couldn't get the AC running, it was too cold. Plus I didn't have the right adapter. So back here, I have four 110s and one 220 with 30 amp. Now this camper takes 30 amp. I really wanna use that. And I have the cord and the RV guy gave me an adapter that makes this 110, but ha <laughs> ha thinking ahead I went on Amazon a couple days ago and I bought this this is a Camco RV generators 30 amp to 30 amp and look at what it does it takes the RV 30 amp and converts it to the 220 hookup I have over there so this was a few dollars on Amazon I don't know 10 bucks I'll put a link down below I'm not don't make any Amazon affiliate not making any money on that deal but if you want to use your camper with a 220 this is what you need let's go and hook this up okay that should be in let's check the truck will tell us whether it's in or not. Let's see. Okay, so the truck says something plugged into the outlet in the bed. Supply power to the outlet. Yes. Okay, pro power onboard warning. Generator mode, your engine will cycle to supplies power. This can turn on and off the engine as it supplies power to the plug. Hit close. And so it should be on. I can double check this. I go in there, I go in there. I promise I can check it, maybe I gotta go here. Okay, so we can see I'm putting out 600 watts of power right now to the camper. I can use my phone to update this, but I have no service out here, but testing it. Oh yeah, so it's good. So we know that's good. So let's turn on the, uh, let's go to the camper and make sure our AC is running. Okay, now inside the camper, let's first check lights. Oh, those are outside lights. Okay, so I have lights and I don't think I'm on the battery. So let's turn this to auto, auto high, cool. We'll turn this down. Say we're gonna run, say 68. So I'll, I'll do 65, make sure we're gonna run this while we're gone. I can hear this turning on and I'm gonna turn on, I'm gonna move ladder. This is a nice toy hauler, by the way all our stuff in here, but I'm going to flip on these vents. Okay, so, and I will get the rating for that uh, air conditioner, how many watts it takes. But I have auto on this, and it's on. So the refrigerator's on. I have that power, the AC's on. I have power. Okay, so let's go back to the truck. Let's go back to the truck and make and see what the watts using and make sure we're having staying within the right amount of watts. So it's 120 watts per amp. That's what I've learned owning this truck. You learn a lot about power owning this truck, like electricity and amperage, all that kind of stuff. So inside, you can see I'm using 1600 watts. So 1600 and 120. Excuse me while I pull up my phone because I suck at math, but Thirteen amps. So I'm using thirteen amps. I have thirty amp of service back there, and at 220, 13 amps. And we can see 
438 miles and full. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to back out of the truck, close the door, and lock the keys. Okay, the truck is locked. It's still here, electric mode is on. Okay, and what's gonna happen here is as the battery drains, the engine's gonna kick on and it'll charge the battery. So, I don't know, we'll see if it kicks on here in a minute. Should click on a minute. There it is. So you hear it, it kicked on, right? So that will turn on and off here in a few, a cycle through. So it's looking at the camera, three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds, seven seconds, eight seconds. Make a fool out of me here. We're going on 10 seconds or so, and it should turn itself off here any minute. Just depending how much power usage we're running through the battery will dictate how many times it's gonna turn on and off and how long it's gonna run. Still waiting. I was powering a coffee pot this morning, man. It was on and off real fast. Coffee pot didn't take much wattage. So, 30 seconds. I think we're coming up on 30 seconds, 40 seconds maybe. Yeah, that's 40, 45, somewhere in that range. And, you know, because I'm using 13 amps, and so that's on auto, so hopefully that will turn itself on and off as far as the air conditioner, and the truck maybe don't run that much. There it goes, it just turned off. Okay, so what did we have? We had uh, almost a minute of running, so I'm gonna let this run, the camera run for a little bit, and let's see if it turns back on. So we're, I'm kind of watching the, there's a camera on the screen, but so we'll watch that a little bit, and we'll see if it turns back on. So it's a little dirty, but it's a, uh, by the way, this is a 20, I'm gonna say, you know, dry weight's 2850 kilograms, 4,400 pound axles, gross vehicle weight rating 3,992 kilograms, 8,800 pounds. That's a gross vehicle weight rating 8,800 pounds. So that's everything. That's, I mean, that's fully loaded down. Let's go back to the truck. Okay, so that's been about a minute or so. You guys can see it on your screen. I can't see it on the screen. This is all raw footage. So, about a minute. And with the hybrid, the uh, onboard generator, I think it's a $750 option to get the bigger generator there. And so it allows you to go to boondocking. You know, I have batteries in the camper, but this would charge the, I could use the truck instead of using those batteries. So kind of extend the usage of being off-road. So what are we at? Uh, minute and a half going on two minutes here Later, yeah. I'm waiting I need some music in here I'm gonna play some music when I edit this so we're at two minutes and the screen uh, I can't see the screen. We could, uh, I think that's still going. Somebody unlock the doors. Yeah, the screen shows 1700 watts now. It's still the same range. I have the keys in my pocket, so I piece of me every time I do that. But so, yeah, we're at what, two and a half minutes? Going to three minutes. That's not bad, I mean, you know, a minute and a half, ran for a minute, charged it, running 17 amps out of that circuit back there. Simple plug-in, right? The hookup and the plug was pretty simple. I can get 220, or I get 30 amps to the camper. That's what the camp, most campers I've learned need 30 amps. They can run 50 amp. You can do the 50 amp hookup and connector and downgrade it, but most campers, the, the conventional tow I've looked at has been 30 pounds. Oh, nope. That's a, this is a really beautiful Chevy, by the way. Look at that thing. We've been all talking about crew cab gas. That's an 01 with like 129,000 miles on it. Flawless paint. Big fan of that. Okay. So we're at three minute mark. Three and a half.
Derek kicked on. Okay, so three minutes and like 40 seconds. So I'm gonna go hit the lake and come back in a couple hours and see how much gas we used. But I don't know if we're gonna use a whole lot. All right, back from the lake and it's still cooling in here. Yeah, pretty actually chilly in here. Let's go out to the truck and let's see how much fuel we used. I think it's been about two hours. I haven't been in the truck, truck yet to check the time yet. Timestamp on the truck. Okay, so everything's still working. Camper's still working. Still plugged in. Still plugged in. Oh, keys. Be right back. Keys. All right, getting in the truck. Whew. Truck is hot. <laughs> Oh, I, I have the AC off. That's why the truck's so hot. So we have been, let's check the time. We have two hours and five minutes. Because uh, it was 12.06 we did this, so about two hours. 1,700 watts still powering. 1,600, 1,700 right there in that range of that camper. Let's go in here. I have 426 miles of range. And I haven't even touched that. I haven't even touched that at all. So... I've used, i to rewind the video and look at this. I'll put the numbers down below, but memory serves you right. I was like 434. So I've used maybe eight miles of range in two hours to power the camper. And it's whisper quiet versus like a diesel generator or a gas generator. There's no loud noise. So man, I think this is a win-win. I mean, and this is heart of the day. It says 75 on there but i would say it's more like 85 outside because it's sunny skies and so you know again you're you're gonna your usage is gonna vary depending on the day the temperature that kind of stuff but when i haven't even touched barely moved the dial at all for fuel you know i'm gonna guess i could go like all night doing this actually i could go all day because night won't use as much because it gets over you know it's not as hot i could probably go all day running this truck on this camper and maybe use a core tank gas. That's my theory right now. That's pretty impressive. So, hey, hope you enjoyed the video. For more, check the video out over here, website down below. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you down the road.